Today I'm going to show you a quick, simple, easy addition to your daily diet that will elevate the health of every person watching this, without exception, unless you're dead. We're going to be talking about this. No, it is not fossilized dinosaur poop, but it will elevate your colon health among other many benefits. We'll get to those shortly. No, this is yucca root. It's one of those herbs that's kinda well known, but not super well known. But it has a host of incredibly useful benefits for elevating your health, especially your immune system, intestinal health, and adrenal health. And this is where I purchased it. This is Market 23 in Cancun, Mexico. It's the place where all the locals get their fruits, veggies, and herbs for the meals they prepare for their families throughout the week. Look at the rainbow of colors in this place. Healing food is everywhere. Everywhere you look, healing food. My guide here is Antonio. Here he is pointing out some ripe mangoes for sale. Look, really fresh mango. So I ask Antonio about yucca root, and the next thing I know, I'm standing in front of a pile of the stuff. So I ask how much, I'm taking a look at it here, and he calls out and gets a price for me. And I'm about to purchase it, and he says, you know, I can get you a better product on the other side of the market. Okay. Uh, but you know, I think it's more great than the other side. The other side? Yeah. This is too dry. Right. When I would touch the other one, yeah. it was moist. Yeah. This but, is, they do hold moisture. But um, outside of the, of the market, there is the people directly from the little countries come to sell. Maybe we can get fresh down here. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, no problem. But first, Antonio wants to show me the fruit of a famous tree that grows in Mexico. This comes from the tree where we get the, the, the gum. Chiclet. Chiclet. Fruit of the chiclet tree. Look at the rainbow of colors. When you see a rainbow of colors like this, it means healing. Period. Antonio loves talking to me about the herbs, fruits, and veggies that are for sale here in Market 23. I met Antonio by accident. Or did I? You know, it's weird how people just appear when you need certain things. They just appear in your life. One day I was in Cancun. I hailed a cab. Antonio was driving it. Of course, I immediately started asking him about herbs, like I do all cab drivers, no matter what country I'm in because every single cab driver I've ever talked to outside the United States has grown up using herbs medicinally, without exception. So, we arrive at the yucca stand on the other side of Market 23. We have, we try always to get like this, you know? Okay. Why? Because if you clean it with water, when you try to cook it, it's very hard to cook it. Okay. When you wash, it's because you're gonna cook at the moment. When you wash the yucca, so you don't wash it till you're ready to use it, because mold sets. Right. Is that what I'm seeing right there? Right. Okay. So you picked this one because there's still dirt on it. Yeah. Look at these hairy guys. Chayote. Yeah, more chayote. Look. In Mexico, where um, there is a there is a people who like to go somewhere to eat or drink, but they don't pay, you know. We call it chayote. You call them chayotes? Chayote. Yeah, that's the people who don't don't pay. Just wanna get everything free. So they'll go out to dinner with a group of people, and when the check comes, they never right take their share. They're called chayotes. Chayote. Yeah, because you know because the, they're prickly. The, it's, it's, that's the people. Ah, so there's a specific type of yucca that will have the benefits that I'll be describing here. I'm going to put the Latin binomial up here. As long as it's this species, you're going to be okay. If it's not this species, you're not going to get the benefits that I'm going to be covering shortly. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce it because 
different countries and different areas of the United States all pronounce this a different way. Everyone has their own pet way. But as long as it is spelled like this, it is the species that we're going to be talking about here. Yucca is used as food in many places around the world. It is safe. It has many actions upon the human body that are beneficial. First of all, yucca has a high level of saponins. What will saponins do for the body? Well, first of all, they will hold moisture, which is good for the beneficial bacteria in the body. In my last two videos, I mentioned beneficial bacteria. Well, they need water too. And the saponins will provide moisture for these little guys. Remember back in Market 23, when Antonio mentioned a moist yucca root would be better than a dry yucca root. Now, another benefit of saponins is that they have a cleansing action upon the intestines, especially the colon. Take the first four letters of saponins, S-A-P-O. You rearrange them and they spell S-O-A-P. And that's how you remember that you can, will actually soap up and cleanse the colon, going into the pockets of the intestines that might hold seeds, or areas that might be places where bad bacteria may hold up and multiply like crazy. Well, the saponins will actually help cleanse these areas. And what condition would this be good for? Well, how about diverticulitis? That can be very painful. And the yucca roots saponin content also has anti-inflammatory capabilities. And this is due to the plant sterols in the root itself. So this anti-inflammatory power is again very useful for something like diverticulitis. Yucca also provides fiber and this fiber provides food for the beneficial bacteria in your GI tract. Now these beneficial bacteria ideally make up about 80 percent of your immune system but you can go out and you can buy the best beneficial bacteria in powder form or capsules. You can make the best fermented foods. But if you do not feed these beneficial bacteria, no matter how many you're taking in, no matter what quality they are, they're going to die. These beneficial bacteria are like the elite athletes or special forces of your immune system. If you dropped a special forces team on an island, with no food, no water, no supplies, and the island was barren, thousand miles from anywhere, how long would they live? Well, those special forces are the beneficial bacteria in your GI tract, protecting you 24-7 against threats, but you have to feed them. And the fibers in fruits and vegetables will feed these beneficial bacteria. Remember, your GI tract is like a movie theater. When the seats are sold out, you can't get in. Both pathogens and beneficial bacteria are in this constant competition for food and water. If your beneficial bacteria win this competition, then you have better health. But this isn't a one-time only competition. It's every day. It never ends. So if you like your immune system, and all the benefits of it, like cytokines, vitamin K, B vitamin production. If you like serotonin, of which the majority is produced in the gut, not the brain, then feed your gut these fibers from fruits, veggies, and of course, the yucca root. So what else can the yucca do for the body? Well, it contains plant sterols, like we already mentioned. Now these can affect the adrenal glands in a positive way. If I ever get around to making a video of my entire visit to Market 23, you'll see that I'm always talking about what fruits or vegetables contain a lot of vitamin C. And this is because of vitamin C's positive action upon the adrenal glands. If you want to rebuild the adrenal glands and get your core energy levels back, then vitamin C is a must. But vitamin C from whole food sources don't go running to your local health food store and buy a giant tub of ascorbic acid. That's just a part of vitamin C. It's not the whole of vitamin C. 
Another vital part of rebuilding the adrenals would be vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, and proper adaptogen herbs like American ginseng, red ginseng, and schizandra berry, which all help a depleted individual rebuild their core energy. The adrenal glands are involved with your testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone production. They affect inflammation. Your immune system is dependent on the adrenals, your blood sugar levels, and a whole lot more. The plant sterols in yucca root can bind to cholesterol, lowering your cholesterol levels. But not only that, Cholesterol is directly involved with the cell membranes of certain pathogens. So when you eat yucca, the plant sterols in the root actually can grab onto the cholesterol that these pathogens need to survive and tear them loose, causing damage or outright destruction to these pathogens. So let's review briefly what the eating of yucca can do for your health, because this is a really remarkable gift from nature we're talking about here. First, it contains saponins, which will literally help to wash your intestines clean. Yucca root holds water in the body, providing moisture for our beneficial bacteria. Yucca root provides fiber, which feeds our beneficial bacteria. So it provides water, and then it provides food, solid food and moisture, all in one root. Even a Mexican iguana knows that your bacteria need food and water to survive, right? There you go. Yucca root contains plant sterols, which will help to rebuild our twin engines of core energy, the adrenal glands, one of which sits atop each of our kidneys and the plant sterols in yucca root will grab onto the cholesterol that pathogenic life forms in the body use in their cell membranes and it will rip it loose causing damage or destruction to that pathogenic life form yes that's right there is a root that grows out of the ground that you can eat that will destroy pathogens in your GI tract and leave you completely unharmed and people say that nature isn't fun. Hey, what's not to like? So, it's at this point you're saying, Sean, this yucca root sounds really good. But I went on YouTube, and I do not want to boil it, smash it, make french fries out of it, peel it, core it. What do I do? What's the quick and dirty solution here? Well, you've got two ways to take the yucca root. You can take a liquid yucca root extract or you can take the yucca root powder. I suggest the powder. Remember what we said about the fiber and how it's important for the bacteria and what the fiber contains and what it can do for your intestinal health. With the liquid extract you do not have the benefit of the fiber. So the fiber wins between the liquid and the powder. You can easily get yucca root powder online, and the dose per meal would be about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. So I wanted to show you some footage of Market 23, Mercado 23, in Cancun, Mexico. And of course I want to thank Antonio, who is almost as crazy about herbs as I am. Just a little basic info about the amazing yucca root, and it is amazing when you think of all it can do for human health. Of course, there's a lot more to this route, but try it out and allow it to elevate your health. This is Sean from One With Nature. Thank you for watching.